What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we have some more Need to Speed 2015 content and today we're going to be customising this Mustang and we've got one special wide kit to put onto this car. So I'm pretty sure everyone knows who Ken Block is. You, you definitely recognise that, don't you? Yeah, you do. It's the Hoonicorn body kit. Looks absolutely mad. You know, when I first saw Need for Speed, that was always a question I had. Was w w Will these body kits be available? Can I put, the, you know, the Hoonicorn kit on and all these RWB kits? Obviously, you can now because I'm doing it and stuff. But that was one of my main questions before I actually played Need for Speed. But damn, did it feel good. This was something that I didn't get a chance to do, you know, in the beta or any time beforehand. So it was really interesting to see how it actually looked. You could probably recreate great um, Ken Block's car if you really wanted to. However, I went ahead and made my own um, 65 Hoonicorn Mustang, which you will see very, very shortly. So here you can see me customising the rims. I decided to put some RTR rims to kind of stay within the scheme of things. It kind of makes everything seem um, a bit symmetrical and just it, everything kind of mixes together very well. So went ahead and put those on as well as the Speed Hunter tyres. Fun fact, actually, the um, Hoonicorn and I think Ken Block's new Escort that he's made um, he's actually helped designed by the uh, owner of um, Rocket Bunny. So the Hoonicorn you can see right now is actually, you know, helped and sculpted by the owner of Rocket Bunny. I think his name's like Akimi Akimura or something like Cross Designs. Um, so yeah, that's a fun fact if you didn't already know. But anyway, enough with these fun facts, let's actually get into the paint customization. Now, I did look kind of through the preset wraps, but I didn't think, I'd like, I don't know, they were nice and stuff, but I kind of wanted to do it myself. I think I found a really nice kind of vinyl scheme, which goes really nice, and you'll see this in a minute. But, you know, at the start, I was like, oh, should I use it, should I not use it? And then I was like, no, I'm going to build it myself. So, I got rid of the wrap, I slapped this kind of bluey, metallic, chromey colour on, and then I also slapped on some stickers, which again, looked really really nice. I put some stripes down the middle and I kind of put my signature skull on the side. I think that's one of the vinyls that I'm going to be using quite a lot, which we'll see in a minute. It's that kind of skull on the side. It looks really, really nice. Obviously here I'm changing all the metallic properties. I don't know what I was doing, to be honest. I've got mixed feelings now uh, on the actual stripe down the middle. I kind of wish I just left it white because it looked better like that. But, I don't know, part of me likes it, part of me doesn't like it. I wasn't really sure what to think. I was going for something different. I wanted to be a bit different and I think it still looks nice regardless but I don't know I've got mixed feelings on that on that on that stripe now one thing I should know is that vinyl mirroring is coming so if you don't know what vinyl mirroring is basically say if you put a vinyl on one side of the car and you basically want to copy and paste it on the other side of the car that is coming however on launch and in the game I played in the build I played that wasn't available but it has been confirmed on the Need for Speed website that it is coming so don't worry you know our cries have been listened to and it's coming very very soon anyway here I'm gonna go ahead and change the handling style of the car again kind of putting my default on kind of quote unquote default uh, handling model on as you can see I've got the differential open a lot of downforce launch controls off a few things off here and there um, and overall it worked especially with this car very very well um, I obviously slapped on all of the um, the performance upgrades as well but I'm not going to show that in this video because just because it's so long-winded if you guys want to see a video about performance customization I can indeed show you that but anyway this is the final car I think I did a pretty good Good job. I think it looks very nice indeed. Those wheel arches are absolutely insane. But anyway, you can see me taking it out for a spin now. And although it's kind of slow in these gameplays, I can guarantee once you get a bit more performance under the hood, this thing is fast. And it's very controllable through the corners, say when you're drifting and you're jumping and all that kind of stuff. It's more suited to gym car events, as you would kind of guess. But you can definitely race in this car. It's a good race car as well as a drifting car. It's really versatile, like many other cars in the game you know some cars are drift cars some cars cars are perf cars but this car is really well rounded but anyway uh, if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like subscribe i will see you guys in the next one for more need for speed 2015 content stay safe guys and peace